weird. What? And then, well, still, my camera is here. And oh, right, there. you've got like a... So I'm like, how do I look? Where do I look? Why my camera's above my screen. So even though I'm looking over here and I can look over here, it's like, oh, ah. but she's moving things. Oh, no, oh, no. Ah! <laughs> Wait. No, I like this angle better. It's, it's, it's just better. There you go. It's a good angle. And you're at a, I was going to say, you're at a slight tilt. <laughs> you got a Dutch angle thing going on. Yes. I like that. Okay. This is what you get today. Sorry. Hmm. <laughs> this is what you get today. <laughs> My profile. How how are you, Katie? Tell me. Damn, all right. It's been. I, I've I've had a very busy couple of months. Yeah. And things have started to calm down a bit. So I'm like trying to refine my footing and be like, ah, okay, you know, it's start. We're getting there, but there's still things that are like, you know, popping off mm. all that sort of stuff. But I'm otherwise well. Good. How are you? Alive. <laughs> yeah, sweet. Okay, cool. That's, that's, that's what I can say. <laughs> still alive, uh, still kicking about, uh, not stress free, which is very annoying. Uh, when but are we hopefully, ever? hopefully soon. So, so, so getting there. So, uh, <laughs> soon. Uh, anyway, uh, do you want to introduce a lovely podcast? Oh, yeah, that bit. I feel like it's not. Part of it, unless I do that now. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Hi, everyone. That was squeaky. I'm going to take that squeaky. again. Let's do it again. Take two. <clears throat> Hi, everyone. Welcome to all the first <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. <laughs> that came out so nicely. You I'm ruined sorry. it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Go on, take three. <gasps> I shut up now. I don't. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Take three. <laughs> I am a fresh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Welcome to all the films we judged before. I'm Katie. And that's Lily K. And that kind of came out like the TikTok lady. <laughs> um, and I'm not doing it again. <laughs> just a little bit. It's good. It's... It just, welcome to all the films we judged before. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> it works. Oh, no, I'm, I'm not a room. <laughs> <laughs> I liked it. I liked it. It was good. It was good. Katie. Yes. Um... <laughs> 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 We're not on the drugs, we promise. Susau. <laughs> <laughs> Susau. Shut up. Shut up, brain. What yes. Did you, what did you? <laughs> what did I watch this week? Yes. <laughs> oh, for the past two weeks, I guess, because we haven't done this uh, in a in a in a couple of weeks. Yes. So that's how this works now. Mm -hmm. Um, um, I saw see how they run in the cinema because you're a lucky bastard. Yes. Uh, yeah, it was it was fun. It was a fun little movie, you know. It's like it, it, it. I've seen better whodunits. I think that I think Knives Out has set the bar for like modern day whodunits very, very high. Mm -hmm. This is a very enjoyable film, mm -hmm. and if you have the ability to go to the cinema, I always go, encourage people to go to the cinema. Mm -hmm. it's, it's always a good mm -hmm. thing. But it is one of those movies that I feel like it's like I'd stick it on a streaming like one evening if I was bored, that kind mm -hmm. of a thing. But it's very enjoyable. Everybody in it's very fun. Yeah. I think that. Um, Saoirse Ronan's kind of the major standout because uh, oh, she's, she's so, great. but she's and she's incredibly funny in it, just su super earnest and all that sort of stuff. It was um, I felt like they didn't um, maybe it's not really what they were going for, but it felt like Sam Rockwell's character was a bit thin for me in terms of like character. Um, mm -hmm. it, it was this sort of like he was just the kind of archetype that was meant to be like the drunk detective that was going to like solve the case but they were going for it it was it was very tongue-in-cheek the whole thing but it felt they it left him feeling very thin um yeah overall which was a shame because he's he's very funny in it and, and you know and very, and very enjoyable um i kind of wish there had been a little bit more like backstory to him i guess um 
No, the bit this of it. Doesn't sound good. <laughs> no, it's, it is good. It's just it's you know it's in the movie I finished it and I went that was fun, and then I moved on. Ah, I don't know. No, I mean like, it's a perfectly serviceable thing, and I don't need that. There's nothing. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just more of a taste thing for me. I think. Um, in that, like, in terms of like the central mix. No, I did not guess who did it, which I guess is one of the big things. But when at a certain point when they were like really trying to ham home that they thought that like one of the characters went down like a bit of a rabbit hole, I was like, this is a bit obvious. <laughs> that was my only. That was my kind of big thing with the sort of yeah plot underneath. But the cast is very very enjoyable. Um, and it's very silly. It didn't help though that the guy next to me laughed at everything quite loudly. Oh yeah. Um, and yeah. you know, you know, when you're kind of enjoying something, kind of in the, you're like, "Huh, that's funny." And then the, the, somebody else in the room is like, "Ha ha ha!" And you're like, "Okay, it's not that funny. Can you calm down?" Oh god. <laughs> oh god. So he just he was laughing, and he. I already kind of, I, I'd kind of been a bit of him when I came in because he was clearly on a date with somebody. And all I could tell was that he was talking about himself the entire time. And I was like, oh, I don't like this guy. I don't know if you guys have been going out for long, but I don't think he, I don't like this guy. I, oh, I just, uh, I could never handle, like, it's okay when you laugh because, you know, it's a comedy and whatnot, but when someone is this very loud, very... It wasn't like... It wasn't like uproariously laughing, but it yeah. was very noticeable in my yeah. ear. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. It's okay. Enjoy yourself and all that, but like <laughs> sometimes it can be it, too much. <laughs> it, for me, I feel like I would have enjoyed it more if if the, the it had been left to everybody kind of like you know sensibly chuckling or like maybe going <laughs> every once in a while at something that was genuinely quite funny. And the jokes in it are quite good. Okay, um, that's good. Like it is funny. Um, yeah. Uh, it's just not as funny as this guy was making it out to me at, at the intervals that he was making it. <laughs> right in the, in the moment I'd enjoy a joke and I'd be like, hmm. Hmm. Uh, he'd laugh. laugh. I'd be like, okay. <laughs> oh, God. You've ruined this for me. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. It's, oh, it's well. an enjoyable one. If you get a chance to go see it, I still recommend it. Well, I I definitely watch it. I don't think it's it's gonna make it to the Hungarian cinemas. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't. I think see if you up. end up watching it at home, I think it's a perfect place for you to be yeah, able to watch yeah, it. Yeah, really. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think that's what's good. I will definitely watch it because I love Sam Rockwell. Yeah, and he's great. Yeah. So I'm like, okay. That like the minute I saw his name, I was like, yep, yeah, I'll go watch this. <laughs> and you know <laughs> what? The British accent like... he does pretty serviceable. Okay. Good. Good, well done, well done, Sam. Uh, what else did you watch, my friend? What else did I watch? Um, I'm caught up on Critical Role. Okay. And then this week they had an, apparently the past week they've had an episode where a lot of things happened. And I read about the things. I'm being vague because I don't want to spoil things with the episode that only came out. I yeah. suppose by the time this comes out, the next episode will be out, but that's fine. Yeah. Some stuff happened. It was pretty bad. So I'm kind of avoiding watching the latter half of the episode until this week's episode goes out. Because <laughs> it's like, oh, there's too much dread involved in this for me to, to enjoy this properly. I need to know how it, it resolves. <laughs> kind of thing. We're just leaving that for now. So instead I've gone over to Dimension 20 land and okay. I'm watching a show called A Court of Fae and Flowers, which is d d with... Fae and arch fae and goblins and like fairies mm -hmm. and pixies and stuff but mm -hmm. it's like a jane austen setting so it's oh. all regency and they're all kind of like starting rumors about each other and writing letters and like yearning is happening and i'm like i'm on the third episode and every other thing that happens i'm like <gasps> <laughs> it's brilliant <laughs> it's very Fair. very good so for the regency fans you have dropout.tv I recommend a court of fame flowers. And if you don't have dropout.tv, you should get dropout. Because <laughs> there's a lot of really good content on that. There you go. I say it all the time. But um that's the main stuff. I don't really think I've been watching um much else because I've been so goddamn busy. <laughs> that's fair to be honest. I went on holiday, I came back, it was all thing. Yeah, that's true. You went on a holiday. Mm -hmm. I, I remember now. My days have been messed mm -hmm. up as well. So I'm like, we went to do camping we, i went yeah we went down to dorset and it was nice. lovely nice well done well done good good um uh, what have you been watching 
Who knows first? Uh, well, the main things are the main things that everyone is watching. It's just, you know, I'm, I'm back to you. Like, I literally just thought about this because back in the day uh, when I was watching, like, normal TV, it sounds stupid, mm. <laughs> but, like, basically, uh, in my calendar, uh, like, I had the dates when everything premiered. And then from that I used onwards, to do that in school. I was like, okay, this is coming out this day, this is coming out. Every morning I would get up uh, and I would watch the new episodes of, of the things that came out. Uh, because obviously, time zones and what the fuck not. That's what's happening right now, which is very funny to me. I because... love that that's making a resurgence, <laughs> though, and that we're actually able to do that again properly with, with like weekly uh, television. I think that's nice. It's it's not bad. I'm not going to lie. I do enjoy it, especially with with uh, TV shows like House of the Dragon, which is fucking brilliant, and I'm so happy with it. It's still... Uh, I, I will say, four. I've been looking... I've been kind of getting into all the gift sets and stuff because I don't really... Again, I don't really have the intention... I don't feel... The, the need to watch it but I do like reading about it like I did with Game of Thrones Matt Smith's wig in the, with the shorter hair much better so much better than the other one trust me the long hair was fucking awesome as well <laughs> like, it did, it did, like, it, 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 the look is good it just don't think the wig was particularly good with the long hair like I think uh, the hairline just... was a whole weird thing but the short hair I was like now that that I like that looks good you want us to forget that it's it's a wig after a while. It's like, ah, oh, yeah. That's because the rest of the show is so, so fucking great. Um, you should watch it. By the way, it's I, I think you would you would love it. Uh, it's a, it's very good. I'm very I'm genuinely surprised that uh, you know I think all of us uh, Game of Thrones fans were expecting a big failure on this part again, and it proves us wrong very nicely i'm like i'm so happy with all oh, it's of nice it to hear. Huh? nice to hear yeah 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 yeah. it's it's like oh yeah i'm always a fan of when television actually does what it's meant to properly exactly exactly and and it shows like you know they are once again using uh martin's writing uh they are asking him about stuff not just leaving him out and just waking up bullshit things uh so he's he's actively uh participating in the whole thing which is which shows it, it does show that you know he's there and what he imagined and uh what he created is, is like you know respected and handled well and the actors are fucking great like all of them uh obviously it is so strange to me though yeah as an out from an outside perspective seeing people heavily rooting for this relationship between um <laughs> Uh, is it what's how do you say her name? Is it, is it Rihanna or R uh, Rhaenyra? Rhaenyra yeah. and Damon. Damon, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's... And I'm sitting there like because I'm looking at it like <laughs> are they related somehow? They are I actually these. looked it up today and I was like, okay, yeah, no, that's weird. It's very weird. Uh, the thing is, they made it so hot. <laughs> I know. I know I I've, that. I've seen the gift sets and I'm like, yeah, I'm not surprised. Yeah, even I was like, oh god. <laughs> Like, I literally, I never had a thing for Matt Smith. Like, I always respected him as an actor. I think he's great. God damn <laughs> that, Like, yes. <laughs> I was like, okay, it's working for me as well. So I'm like, you know, go. I'm not surprised. <laughs> like, <laughs> Gross, but I, Gross, I get it. <laughs> but I get it. Like, you know, I, I keep having to remind myself that it's just acting. The actors, they're not really related. <laughs> that makes it okay. <laughs> Otherwise, it would be like, and that Ew. makes it okay. <laughs> oh God! And, and the fact because okay, spoilers. If you haven't read the book that it's based on, they do get married. So that's like a thing in the book because it's it, well, it was mentioned in Game of Thrones as well. That uh, I think uh, the Targaryens big thing is. is yeah, this is a prequel, and I think that's yeah. the major thing. And I, I, I've, I have been. I, there's been a resurgence in like I say resurgence, but there's been. I've been en engaging in a lot of prequel storytelling recently. Mm. Mm. Not even necessarily directly, but just like, like reading about it and appreciating people who are appreciating it being done properly. Black Sails is a big one. The same one that I just watch actually yeah, watch. Yeah, yeah. But Better Call Saul is another one that has done what they needed to do incredibly successfully. Yeah. Um. 
as far as I've read. Uh, so I appreciate uh, when I think the big thing with the prequel is that it needs to be able to recognize that people know where it's going. And it the, the question needs to be more about how these things get to where they are meant to go yeah. as opposed to, yeah. oh, twists. <laughs> twists and turns um so yeah but it's so good just so freaking good and it's it's you know it's ah <laughs> i'm so happy with every every monday morning i'm like sitting on my bed my tv alfred he has a name he's alfred is sitting there and i just turn on house of the dragon and i'm like a child again i'm like yes <laughs> You so like excited. It. <laughs> uh, and that's my Monday morning. And then on Thursday, I'm watching She Hulk, uh, which is just fun. And I just enjoy I the hell out of it. <laughs> any of She Hulk yet? I have plans to. Again, I've been busy. Um, yes. Uh, Matt is I do have plans to. Yeah. I, this is the main reason. Like, honestly, the rest of it, I'm like, meh. I, I want to see this. So. <laughs> he's going. I think he's Very coming important. this week, actually. I do. I hate, I think so. So I might try and do it this weekend, to be honest. So am I. And, and, and you know, maybe the first time. The greatest. <laughs> I, so I, I I love uh, Tatiana, and I think she was a great choice. Uh, but Wongers, like, just <laughs> so good. I love Wong. Wongers are. I'm not gonna say our new Agent Coulson, but he's he's. Oh, but I like that. I like that. Nice that yeah. he fits in that kind of role. He that's does. really. That, I didn't even think of that. But that's. I think that's cute. I love yeah. that. So I'm like, Mongers. He's great, and he he steals the show a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. He's, he's stealing the thunder or the uh, um, Jennifer. So yeah. But I saw an article that was like the Matt Murdock we're gonna see in She Hulk is a flirtier version than we've ever seen before, and I'm like, bitch, did you? watch that up yeah exactly like come on the uh, first time we meet matt properly foggy's like oh man you got a girl in that bed i'm like <laughs> uh well he, he actually charlie cox said that uh it's a bit more fun version of matt like you know which is it fits That's the fun. show it's gonna fit the show uh well sometimes uh, when he's not you know drowning yeah. in catholic guilt exactly and um <laughs> <laughs> just the entirety of season three um yeah you know what he was like yeah yeah fair that's a fair it was pretty bad it him. was very bad um but we're beyond that now he's in a happier place in his life he is he is he is that's true um and then um and then of course uh friday is for the rings of power uh which i find Again, another prequel. A lot of prequels happening. A lot of prequels happening. Uh, I found it incredibly entertaining. Incredibly beautiful. Like, production is like five stars. Uh, the actors Yeah, are... you'd hope it would be, considering the amount of money they've pumped into exactly. the fucking thing. <laughs> exactly. But it is. It is. It's, it truly is beautiful uh, to look at. And it, it does have that Tolkien feel to it. Uh, fuck the racist. That's mm -hmm. for... Yeah, that's obvious. Done Fuck that. you. Um, it's uh, I, I I really enjoy it. I read all of Tolkien. He never once said what skin color they have ever. Uh, it's never written down anywhere that they can only be white or whatever. So fuck off anyway kindly <laughs> anyway yeah. i do enjoy the show a lot it changes a lot but once again we have to remember that they only have rights for three or four books i believe so yeah the talking escape state is very um pernickety yes that's that's the word yeah. i'm gonna use yeah so you know and i i think they are doing everything they can to make an enjoyable uh, watch for all who love fantasy and who love talking it. I'm uh it just makes me very happy uh that uh Morfred Clark is doing so well because um I, I got the chance to to work with her a little bit when I was on the the reshoots for St Maud and she's just she's just really lovely she's <laughs> we had a really nice chat yeah. she's she's just a really really nice human being so I'm, I'm uh, like that's good to hear that's really good to hear I mean yeah. she's uh I was a bit on edge with her because I love Kate Blanchett's uh, Galadria so much. I think uh, she, I, 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 she's, she's not stupid. I, she knows yeah. <laughs> exactly the shoes she's trying to fill. Yeah, but uh, she's doing great, and she does actually look a bit like her. 
especially in, in close shots, I, I find it like, oh, okay, there's a resemblance definitely there. And she's great. She's doing a good job. I like it a lot. Uh, so yeah, that, I think that's all. I, I don't think I watch any movies. I find myself starting movies and just turning them off once I realize that they are actually pretty bad. <laughs> So, uh, which, which is what happened. Like, I just don't want to waste my time, especially when it's it's clear thing. That's uh, what happened with End of the Road, which is the new Queen Latifah film. And I love Queen Latifah, but that movie was just very shitty. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> like, I just had to stop it. I was like, nope, not going to happen. Uh, I did watch Morgan for the first time, which is the Anya Taylor-Joy uh, movie where uh, she's uh, like a superhuman uh, who gets out of uh, control and kills all her uh, creators basically by the end of the movie and then she dies as well it's it was very well weird. there's the entire film for that's, you yeah it's that's it like watered down and all that it it has so many fucking great actors in it that i don't know how they were able to waste it so badly like uh I they have <laughs> yeah, yeah i'm not surprised it, it, uh, they have boyd holbrook uh michelle yell oh um, i keep seeing boyd holbrook's the pop up and stuff recently i'm like uh, oh, what was i looked up the plot i looked up the cast for something the other day um oh it's the new indiana jones movie yeah um that he's gonna be in and i was like oh, boyd yeah, yeah yeah he's there he's there Instead, I just it's just a, he, it's a it's in Sandman I'm like, I, it's just it's like a delight to see him in things. He's great. He's great. Uh so yeah, that was that was a waste as well. I'm a bit disappointed in that. I did watch it one series uh completely because I was not feeling well on Saturday and I just needed something that's like fun and I don't have to think about it too much. <laughs> and uh, that's the new Prime uh, TV series, uh, uh, The Summer Writer and Pretty, uh, which is based on, I'm not going to remember her name, but she wrote the uh, uh, two older boys. I love oh, right. four okay. books as well. And she wrote this one as well. I see. It is all right. Like, you know, it's teenage <laughs> love. Yay. I have every intention, Desmond. To watch Partner Track. I just oh, have my... not gotten round to it yet. <laughs> I watched it. I watched Partner Track. I it's need to great. get to it. I have just I haven't done it yet. Again, the weekend I, I was going to watch it. I also watched Calamity, which kind of destroyed me. <laughs> so I just haven't gotten to it yet. Again, been very busy. Have every intention to do so. I promise. It's very <laughs> good. It's it, it was so much fun. I I did. I want to record uh, uh, for Desmond the part where he is dubbed in Hungarian because it's so funny to hear it especially mm. since we you know we know him we talk with him and then I turned off because I was like oh this is a Hungarian dub I wonder what <laughs> Desmond is gonna sound like and I turned it on and I was like oh god oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so Desmond it's coming I'm gonna send it to you uh but anyway um let's let's talk about stuff I guess because all right do you want to go straight into talking about the D23? Or do you want to talk about the Emmys at all? Or do we just want to kind of breeze past that? Uh, Emmys, Emmys. I'm very happy for Zendaya and uh, uh, Lee, Lee, J ah, butchering names, uh, Lee uh, Junjae. Junjae. Yes, uh, for Squid Game. Uh, I was we, waiting we for had him. We had a we had a small discussion the night yes. before the Emmys about like some things. I totally missed that Matthew McFadden had been uh, nominated in the same in a supporting actor category. Category, otherwise I would have put him forward along with Nicholas Braun and Kieran Culkin. I am still kind of surprised that Kieran Culkin didn't take it a little mm. bit, but mm. I'm also very happy for Maddie, Matthew McFadden because he was also excellent in that season of of, of um, Succession. Like yeah. he has a very important role to play in that season, and he did it very very well. So I was very pleased for him. I was also very pleased that Ted Lasso got another win. Yeah. Um, pleased for Jason Stakus and uh, Brett Goldstein, which you did call, and I'm very nicely done. That's, uh, I I was not surprised by the awards. That's what I will say. Like, yeah, I looked through it and I was like, yeah, this make, oh, this make this all makes sense. Um, yeah. Uh, I I loved um I didn't I haven't actually watched the 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 speech itself but I did love the reaction that um oh god what's that? is her name Cheryl 
the the woman from Ava Elementary who won for best supporting actress yes. in the comedy. Yeah, 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 just yeah. her lovely reaction to just how absolutely shocked she was and how everybody yeah. in the cast like kind of picked her up and kind of brought her onto the stage. I haven't watched the actual speech, but I hear it was unbelievably incredible. It was. It, um, it was. I, I watched it back. I've got to get like, a name though because that's uh, it's not fair if I. Get, <laughs> I uh, while you find it, uh, I love this news as well. Uh, uh, Squid Game's Lee Jung Jae lands male lead in Star Wars series The Acolyte. Yes, we're going to get into like, a lot of that stuff. Uh, um, fuck yeah! Yes. Uh, yes, her name is Cheryl. I knew it was Cheryl. Cheryl Lee Ralph. There you go. That's yeah. I just She's thought the whole great. thing was very sweet. Um, there was a picture of, of Oscar Isaac with a bunch of the men from Succession, and I was like, please put Oscar Isaac in Succession. I beg. <laughs> Just, that would be amazing. <laughs> and he'd do a really good job. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's, uh, I bet you were happy for Succession. Like, oh, I was thrilled. When you posted that, uh, it was the first thing I saw this morning. I was like, <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> great, great, great. But yeah, yeah, otherwise, wasn't yeah. anything particularly surprising or no, um offensive really. i feel like um yeah very happy for jennifer coolidge as well i'm glad that she's yes. getting like, a proper little she's so great she's so funny i, I feel like so i need much. to watch the white lotus because it's Same. got so much attention i don't really know anything about it so i don't I know anything about it i couldn't figure out if it's a creamy or uh or, well, like crime uh creamy creamy sorry that's what we call it in hungarian so I'm no, like shit uh crime uh, dark secrets and twisted truths of the guests the staff and the locale of a resort are unveiled over the course of a week that is supposed to be a relaxing vacation that's what it, it says on okay Google. i still can decide <laughs> apparently it's dark comedy that's what i read so i'm like okay um uh, what's it going to be oh it's that because i was wondering why the hell the hell it was going to be like because they were doing a second series but it was also in the limited series category and i was like it's an anthology because it was supposed to be uh but also an it's not it's going to be an anthology series which is yeah. uh, and i'm like oh okay which is fair um, people also ask what is like white lotus supposed to be about <laughs> Yeah, I don't think it was it, to be honest. I just thought well, maybe we should go over it real quick. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. One that's fair. Uh, let's talk about the 23 and the yes. announcement. Uh, what were you did the uh, happiest about? I just liked seeing all the pictures of, of Charlie Cox on stage with um, uh, Vincent D'Onofrio being like, Daredevil's here. We're going to be filming next year. It's going to be great. And I'm like, yeah, that did make me happy. That's fair. Very happy. That's fair. I didn't really see anything in terms of like actual announcements that made me go, ooh, you know? Um oh. the only thing I feel like I saw that I was like, oh cool, I've got the um uh I liked the the picture that I saw from uh after Echo uh came on and they were saying goodbye and the whole audience um said goodbye in ASL and I was like and and, and cheered. I was like, that was very, very sweet. Um, so um yeah, that's no, I feel like nothing was hugely surprising to me. Nothing? Um, at not all? really. No. Okay, that's fair. What about Inside Out 2? Because I didn't that see came that. out of. No, I didn't see that at all. That is surprising. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. Because, because that came out of nowhere. I was like, oh. They're making okay. another one? That's going to be. Okay, fair. I do like that because I love the first one, so I'm like... I mean, the first one is one of those movies that I kind of can't watch because it made me cry so much in the cinema. I know, I know. I'm the same, but it's still a very good But it's movie. a great movie. No, I absolutely agree, but and I, and I mean that as entirely as a compliment. Mm -hmm. Fair point. Rainbow! I can't even see that on this list. No way, come on. It's not even on here. Oh, hey, wait, it's in Pixar. That's why I haven't gone down far enough. There you go. Oh, Definitely. Teenage Riley introduced new emotions out in summer of 2024. Wow, okay, that is very yeah. surprising. And I had seen nothing about this. Nope. I was so surprised, right. Ryan. That was like one There's of the first surprise. things. Uh, there you go. There you go. I surprised you. Uh, there will be a lot of animation stuff coming out. Uh, one of them is featuring uh, 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 Anna DeBose? Ariana DeBose? 
that's the one. Thank you. Uh, she's great. Uh, I finally okay. watched West Side Story, by the way. I haven't got around to watching that yet. <laughs> I'm going to show my dad. Uh, it's it's good. Uh, I never liked the original. I'm not going to lie. I've not seen the original. Uh, okay. Um, so uh, I, and I, I kind of, I got a little bit put off because of stuff surrounding Andrew yeah, Elgort. Yeah. Um, so I kind of didn't go ahead and watch it. To 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 um, it was one of those like, oh, I should watch this because this is probably the best way for me to watch this story because yeah, it's yeah. like done all stuff. And then I was like, eh. and it just you know, it, it's not like it's taken out my want to see the movie. It's just taken out my um, not desire, just like drive to like push myself to go and like see it. That's fair. That's fair. Like you know, it took me a lot of time to get around to watch it i love spielberg i think he did a great job uh the music was great uh everything was great but uh all i was like eh. Yeah. Yeah. fair enough yeah uh but anyway uh why did i say oh yeah uh, but she was great mm. she was fucking great no wonder she got the oscar for it like oh yeah she's, <laughs> she's wonderful i'm still i'm i still think about her the the tone i'm still thinking about the tony's um opening number with her just sitting yeah, 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 in yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's like, oh, come on. It's oh, you're delightful. Yeah. I like you a lot. And obviously, she was in um, Schmigadoon. Yes, and in Westworld. Yeah, she was well. wonderful in, in Schmigadoon. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know she was in Westworld. Yeah, season four. She's great. And now she's getting her own uh, animated movie as well. And mm. She's going to voice the, I think it's the Wish Upon, which is yeah. going to be the about Announced the star. was the animated musical movie Wish, which explores the concept of wishing upon a star and is set to come out in the fall of 2023. It starts as the star West Side Story's Ariana DeBose and Rogue One's Alan Tudyk. Right there. There you go. There you go. It's that quite, sounds fun. It's, it's, I just love animation. <laughs> I was just so happy with the animation stuff because that's going to be um, uh, the animated movie from Africa. I think from uh, South Africa. It's from... Um, it, the, what, is, it? is, this, is this the one from Lagos in that's Nigeria? The, that's the one. That's the yeah. one I'm thinking. What's, what's the title? I don't know how to pronounce this. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, yeah. It's spelt I-W-A accented, J-U accented. You could just put it on the screen. <laughs> yeah, put it, put it on the screen. I don't We're want to butcher. No, it looks like butcher. a beautiful language. I just have no idea how to say it, and I, I don't, don't want to know. try. I don't know. Uh, but my uh, instinct would be to say something like "iwaju," it but, but uh, probably close. Um, probably close. I, I don't really know how the accents work in in um, this language, so yeah, uh, that's as close as I'm going to get, and I'm not going to go any further. <laughs> um, but. Uh, they finally because this was announced last year okay um i i i even remember talking about it uh on the podcast a little bit oh okay uh, okay <laughs> uh but they finally have pictures uh from the movie itself uh and i think they had like a trailer uh, during the event as well uh okay. so it's 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 going to be very exciting and then there's another pixar project uh elementals i think uh it's uh that that looks picks up project hang on a second let me go now elemental yes i saw the poster for this yeah it's just yes i just want to see it so bad (laughs) i'm just genuinely so happy that we're gonna get so many animated things uh uh animated uh we also have a date for the bad batch season two for all the star wars fans out there and we're getting that yeah, we're gonna uh, go back up to the lucasfilm area yes, there yes, we go. Please. <laughs> um and we also gonna get a tales of uh, uh jedi um uh, uh which will feature ahsoka uh kanduku i think as well was it kanduku Wait, it's... Uh, it doesn't. Tales of the Jedi, will, um, of six the Jedi. original TGI sorts about Ahsoka and Ahsoka. Dooku. There you go. That's okay. Got a trailer and a release date. There you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so, and also, obviously, we're gonna get the Acolyte, uh, which uh, now we know that Lee Jung Jae is gonna be the male lead, and Amanda Sandberg is gonna be the female lead. And they announced someone else. Uh, Hang on, let me find it. Yes, okay. please. Um, like, oh god, where are you, Acolyte? You're not in this list. <laughs> it should be there. Like, it, it might have. I got Andor. News. I've got Ashoka. I've got. 
I'm, I'm going to look it up somewhere else. Okay, Skeleton Legion crew. J, we know that. That no. it, It's literally not in this list, which is very annoying. <sighs> Who was, there was someone else announced. And I know that uh, Legion J, uh, Judy Turner-Smith, that's the one. Jo- Jody Turner Smith, sorry. Oh, I love her. So yeah, it's it's uh, coming together as a great freaking cast. Uh, very excited for that one. Um, uh, uh, Jody Turner Smith was in Queen and Slim. Yeah. Uh, after Yang, uh, uh, the last ship as well. She did a lot of good she things. She is. I'm just trying to remember from the issues who I think she is. After Yang is a great movie, by She's the way. She's not who I think she is, but... Who did... What did you think? She's thinking about... Uh, the, the latest James Bond movie. His name I can't quite remember. Uh, what was that? No Time to Die? Yeah, it's fine. I got it. It's, um... Uh, da, 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 da. Why, why isn't the cast the first thing I see? Uh, the Shauna Lynch. I was thinking about the Shauna. Oh, okay. I also love her. I love both uh, of them. <laughs> yeah, they're great. Uh, good choices. Great casting. Uh, what else did Lucasfilm announce? The Mandalorian season three. Yes. And it I haven't a- had a chance to watch this trailer because ah! honestly, all I've seen is like gift sets, and there hasn't been anywhere that's just like put the trailer up for me, and I haven't had the chance to like. I haven't had the like forethought to actually go and look it up. Um, oh, please watch it. It's so beautiful. And it's just uh, we're getting we're getting the baby back, and I'm so happy. And people who didn't watch the book of Boba Fett are so confused right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like what the fuck? What is Yoda doing? Uh, Grogu doing? <laughs> well, they had a reunion. It's fine. It, it's fine. Don't worry. Watch you could probably. You don't even need to just watch the entirety of the book. <laughs> You can, you can just watch uh, literally watch like five three, and six, five. I think. Three or five? I don't know. It was like from from like oh, halfway through the season halfway that they, through, they yeah, did yeah. it. It was like so like four, five, six kind of era. Yeah. Just watch um, the reunion. It's beautiful. It's, it's very cute. It's very cute. Um but yeah, he's back. Um and it it it's just gonna be such a good uh season. And I, it looks like that Giancarlo Esposito is back as well, which is always great news because we love him. Um, I think that's all the... informed that because he took off his helmet, you are no Mandalorian no more. <laughs> sure, but we bet that they're not changing the name of the show when it comes back to <laughs> Thanks, Cena. Um, yeah, they are going to do that. Uh, what else did they announce from Lucasfilm? I think that um, was it. Kind of, those are the big ones. Um, Andor got its final trailer. Yeah. Ashoka uh, revealed yeah. that there's some. Uh, they, they revealed some of the casting, which uh, I tagged you in and you seemed very yeah. excited about. And so I kind of went, mm hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, it's perfect. It's perfect, Ezra. So I'm like, okay. Uh, fans also got a limp. They lost trailer at the Jude Law in Skeleton Crew. Yes. Uh, Bad Batch, Tales from the Jedi, Young yes. Jedi Adventures, some kind of like yes. old people. Um, small people. <laughs> small people show. Uh, and yeah, the, I think the main thing about Lucasfilm outside of Star Wars was that Indiana Jones 5 yes. uh, is getting, you know, starting to finally yes. finally get <laughs> become a thing. Um, and also a very cute picture of um, oh. Harrison Ford uh, reunited with Kate, who in one. So you? good. Hey. Hey. I don't hey. actually know how to pronounce uh, it. I don't know, but we love him. He's great. Yes. He's great, and he's finally, very cute. He's finally getting back to. to he's going to be in something that was very excited, and I can't remember what it was now. Uh, it was, um, uh, it was in Loki. Yes, he's that's right. Loki he's joking too. Loki, which is very cool. Mm-hmm. Very happy about that as well. That's, yeah, I like that. Um. Yeah, I think that's all the Lucasfilm films. That's stuff. it. That's it from the Lucasfilm films, stuff, other than Willow, which is uh, Willow. coming oh, yeah, out yeah, yeah, in, yeah. in November. In November. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't wait for that. I love the original movie, so you know, it was part of my childhood as well. So uh, I'm we got interested. First trailer for the Little Mermaid, and the yes. racists pop their heads out again, which is oh, very. Of course they did. It's like she can't be black. I'm like. Sure she can. She's a fucking mermaid. She's a fucking mermaid, you this and someone. Because I also, had a... this has been out this has been news for a very long time. I had a rant about this because I'm so fucking tired of stupid ass fucking racist people. Um if 
you say, what would the black people say if they would cast a white person to play uh, Martin Luther King? Oh, I don't... It's, this argument doesn't make any sense. It's, uh, your argument is invalid, you fucking idiot. It <laughs> so is, it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Martin Luther King is a fucking historical figure. Not one black man played Abraham Lincoln or Teddy Roosevelt or anyone who wasn't. <laughs> Fuck off with your argument. It's invalid and you just, just... Piece, just prove yourself to be a racist piece of shit whenever you freak out because they dare to cast a black, Asian or whatever race uh, person who's not fucking white into a fucking fantasy. Like, shut up. I'm so tired of you people. Like, shut up. Shut the fuck up. And just, anyway. you know, accept the fact age. that that's, you know, it's not just us on this world. And that's it. That's my message. I'm so angry with this stuff. Like, fuck off. Oh. Uh, Hailey, ba- Hailey Bailey is just uh, beautiful, gorgeous. I love her voice so much. I've never heard her sing before. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't know much about her. But that even that just tiny part uh, of her singing part. I actually of haven't heard it. I've just seen the. Beautiful. I've just seen the bits with her swimming around and stuff. Beautiful. She has. She has a beautiful voice. It, beautiful I'm sure voice. she does. I. I do have. It's like, outside of. I mean, I obviously have no issue. Why would I have an issue with her being cast? She's amazing, and I'm sure she sounds incredible. Yeah. The look of it. It looks a little desaturated. In a way it that does. kind of, and I'm like, brighten it up a bit, you know. <laughs> but I, yeah, I, I, that's I get the thing I, with Disney nowadays. I feel like, especially with the remakes. Dark. I'm like, guys, you can put color into it. It's okay. <laughs> I saw some people. I saw some people make gift sets of it and grade it better than what I saw in the trailer. I was like, come on, guy, <laughs> what's <are you> doing? <laughs> fair, fair. It's it's a bit it's a bit dark, like you know. I mean, physically dark. Physically dark, like, just bring out the colours, like, you know, just a tiny bit. It's like, her hair was... I mean, it doesn't need to be bright red. No, 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 but it looked like... But, like, her, you know, the actual mermaid tail and the bra were kind of, like, dull, and it's like, they're quite bright in the... I know there's quite there's a lot of, like, sea colours in the movie as well, but, like, there was still, like, bright colors i don't know it just like bring the brightness a little bit you guys <laughs> just, yeah, a smidge. just a tiny bit um i know it's dark under the sea but come on yeah uh i was hoping for a maleficent uh announcement because apparently they are cooking up something like a third part and you know as long as it's entering the jolly yeah <laughs> i'm there uh but nothing nothing came out about it if they they are actually making something or not um what else that's going to be a um, mufasa prequel, mm-hmm. uh, prequel directed by barry jenkins yes yes <laughs> oh damn all right okay um sounds exciting sure uh, why not i guess why not uh uh, trailer what for else? Peter Pan and Wendy, which stars Jude Law and Captain Hook uh, as Captain Hook. Yes. Which was, uh, I, I, did, I didn't know that. I didn't see that at all. Uh, okay. We, we got a look at um, Haunted Mansion based on the Disney Parks ride. It will start Jamie uh, Dan Levy uh, is, is joining then. Is he? Yeah. Grand. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's what I was, I was... I wanted to say that because we, we both love Dan Levy. So we love Dan Levy. So, you know, so happy. Um, yeah. Haunted Mansion. Okay. Sweet. <laughs> Uh, trailer for Dis- in- Disenchanted. Yes. I didn't realize what this was when I saw it, and I thought it was another sequel to uh, one of those sequels to those like I can't remember what they're called. That like, well, Descendants, because it was close no, no, enough no, no, no. to Descendants that I, I was like I, the word, and I didn't read it properly. I was like, I don't give a shit about this. And then I saw the post, I was like, Oh, I forgot they were making this movie. <laughs> it's ah, uh, I can't wait. I can't wait. I loved Enchanted. Like, you know, it's, oh, yeah. I love that movie. It's so good. Um, I always forget that that's Patrick. I always forget that that's, you know, Patrick Dempsey. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. And then it's put in context. I'm like, oh, right. Huh. <laughs> fair, fair. And I don't he, sing. Was, he, he was rocking uh, uh, completely white hair, which looked a bit weird, but okay. The man is what? Go, Patrick. 
Uh, I don't know. He's, he's going to be in his sixties at some this point, right? I don't know. He's fifty-six. Of course, no. Um. Yeah, but like he's, he's, like white, white, like bright white, <laughs> platinum blonde hair. Oh yeah, okay, that's that's dyed. Um, that yeah, clearly fit for for a role. Yeah, so it's if it, if it looked a bit weird, I was like, okay, yay. Uh, do you? Um, what else? What else? What else? Uh, I think that we can drop on the Marvel stuff because that's that was like the big thing. Oh yeah, the only other thing, the only there was a couple yes. of things from Disney. Uh, there was the Santa Clauses. I haven't actually watched the Santa trailer for that, but that just yes, kind yes, of made yes. me a little bit excited because I did watch the Santa Claus movies as a kid, so I'm like yeah. a little bit like, all right, Tim is back. Okay, Tim Allen is back. Um, two episode premiere date in November, and then yes. Percy Jackson got its first. Um, oh yes, it did. And the Percy Jackson fans went a bit feral, as far as I could tell. <laughs> <laughs> my only real interaction with Percy Jackson was the movie the first of the, the Lightning Thief movie back in the day which the Percy Jackson fans hate but you know as somebody who hadn't read the books I was like it was fine yeah same but I understand I, yeah I, 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 I could never talk against that um, you know oh. mindset because considering my own stuff <laughs> that's training a dragon <laughs> I would be hypocritical of me so I'm like fair enough you guys yeah yeah now that i read the books because i, d I did read them eventually uh yeah <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> just that's all i will say yeah okay i didn't know I this national treasure edge of history got its first trailer Ooh. it did yes very it exciting did. very exciting indeed very big national treasure fan i will be watching that i love national treasure so i will watch it as well although it is very disappointing to me that we're not getting national treasure 3 yeah because it has been well over like a decade probably a decade and a half at this point and i'm like okay but what about what's happening on page 43 <laughs> i'm still waiting for my results you know <laughs> you exactly. set up the sequel and then you never gave it to me <laughs> yeah that was that was rude very rude um but that's yeah it. that sounds that's like fun disney, yeah? that's most that's pretty much everything from disney hocus pocus okay. 2 hocus pocus I don't know, and yeah. a first glimpse at the snow white live action remake Oh, yes, 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 which will feature Rachel Zagler and... Uh, which, uh, I don't know, so Rachel Zagler and um, Dodie are very good friends. But, uh, yeah. Like, they, they, so Dodie went with her to an Emmy's party, um, and just Dodie's post about the whole thing was very funny. She was like, uh, <laughs> thank you to Andrew Garfield for saying my name multiple times in the conversation as I told him way too many personal things about myself. <laughs> and I was like, that's cute, and also I'm jealous. <laughs> Uh, Andrew looked really good in that white suit. The oh, he looked amazing! <laughs> he looked so oh, it's good. like the man has clearly been on holiday because he looks incredible. Yes. <laughs> I saw him. I was like, damn, he's kind of giving a little bit Corinthian vibe to me. Just a tiny bit. <laughs> with, the, with the sunglasses. Just a tiny bit. Remember? Oh, tiny bit. Um, uh, yes, Marvel. Marvel. Okay. Well, they did announce like. They didn't really announce new There's things. There's already anything new. Thing. This is what I was thinking about when you were asking me about surprises. Because I was going through all the, the Marvel stuff yeah. in my head. And I was like, none of this was particularly surprising. Especially as you pretty much entirely bagged the the um, the um Thunderbolts lineup to the T when the last time we talked about this. I was like, okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Um, yeah, not anything new, really. Not anything new. Um, you know. the, the, there was some I, looks well, at stuff, but I didn't see any of this stuff. Uh, was, WandaVision, sorry. Yeah, no, no, just everyone was just begging for uh, Scarlet Witch uh, solo movie announcement that never came. Um, unsurprising. Unsurprising, yeah. Uh, I don't know. Was there anything? Uh, One Division director, Shrek, Matt Shackman, has been officially revealed as helming some Fantastic Four. Yeah. Uh, Captain America New World Order we'll see Tim Blake Nelson last yes. seen in 2008's Incredible Hulk uh, return as the leader and vice, blah blah blah, blah. Um, I, I saw a lot of things about Tim Blake Nelson I couldn't remember what movie he was in so that makes sense now <laughs> uh, also I, I... Oh, Isaiah Bradley's back yes Wait. yes he's back and um, who was the guy in the first episode uh, we liked him Joaquin Torres yes he's, he's going to be the fa Falcon yeah uh, so I was like, I I was, in, it was in my head that I have to send that to you. <laughs> and I kept forgetting it. So it just saved on my phone still. And I didn't <laughs> send it to you still. So um, yeah. Yeah. Thunderbolt lineup was revealed to be 
Van, uh, Valentina Allegra de Fontaine, yes. Ghost, Red Guardian, Black Widow, Winter Soldier, US Agent, and Taskmaster. Um, I'm pretty sure you said basically all of these when we talked about this last. Yeah, so uh, yeah. again, I saw it and I was like, <laughs> okay, so she was right. Cool. <laughs> I was. I the only one that didn't came true is uh, uh, Zemo, because I said that he. Yeah, a lot of people. I, I saw some disappointment about that one, I which mean, is a shame. Yeah, I was. I was like kind of hoping for him, but oh well, we can't get Marvel's everything. Marvel's director Nia De Costa showed a trailer that teased the dynamic between Kamala Khan, Monica Rambeau, and Carol Danvers, and showed the Theo Triton to to fight a fear of fucking me on fire. I'm having a strong cold. <laughs> um, showed the trio fighting together. In yeah. theaters next July. I Gosh, that's coming wait. out way sooner than I thought it was. I can't wait. I I, I just can't wait uh, for the moment that uh, when uh, I already said that when Kamala and uh, uh, Captain Marvel meet for the first time, I you know, I I that's gonna be. Legendary. I got a bunch of stuff to fucking catch up on. There's so much you shit too. coming. <laughs> you too. Uh, <laughs> you too, my friend. You too. Um, Right, we got Marvel. Uh, sorry, fuck my life. Oh, did Marvel you... on Disney Plus, which starts off with Werewolf by Night. Yes, the first MCU Halloween yes. special when it hits on October. That's 7th. what I was wondering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the... I don't know what this is. I'm not sure either. I'm not gonna lie. I'm All I know lost. is that it's some kind of Marvel thing, it and is. it's a horror, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I was a bit dumbfounded by it and I didn't watch the trailer that they posted so I'm like I guess we'll all be pleasantly surprised when it comes out I guess yeah that's the plan um, uh, sorry do you want to keep going? no I don't know if it's connected to the MCU as a whole to be fair oh okay I was just, no I was just going to read the next thing on the list yeah, you go. did you have anything else you wanted to, no, to state no, before no. I went on Ironheart will see tech and magic do yes. battle with Anthony Ramos Debuting is Parker Robbins slash The Hood um, next year. Always fun. Well, hello. Nice. All right, I just got a Kickstarter uh, email update from, from the Chris Coral Animated series. I wonder what that's about. Um, there you go. Thought we'd done with that, but fair enough. Um, yeah, so cool. Always um, I'm excited about the Ironheart thing. That does sound fun. Mm -hmm. Secret Invasion got its first trailer. I haven't oh, watched the one. this. I haven't watched this trailer. I probably... Oh, I don't know if I will. I want to watch the thing. I might leave it. I might like go into it blind. I've seen the pictures of, of Fury with the big beard and everything. Um, oh, it's like the casting, like fucking Emilia Clark, who's I love Emilia Clark, and freaking Olivia Coleman as well joining the MCU. Oh my god, <laughs> Olivia Coleman's joining the MCU. Yes, and I was like, I was watching the trailer. Obviously, Secret Invasion is one of my favorite comic runs. Uh, so, You've made this very clear. I think I, in the past discussions we've had. I know. Uh, so I'm, I'm like so excited for this one, and and the fact that it's coming out next year is just making me so happy. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> I can't wait. And the trailer is fucking amazing. I think I I really hope that they're gonna go with this darker tone than the trailer has because, yeah, it it needs that. It needs that. It can be a bit lighthearted, but. This is a very serious comic run, and I cool. fucking loved it. So, all right, okay. Next thing. Next thing. Next thing. Uh... No, I'm just making sure that you you're done before I start talking about the next thing. Yes. Yes. Go okay. ahead. Go ahead. Armor Wars will pick up where Secret Invasion left off. With Rhodey getting a bunch of new War Machine style suits of armor. Six part of Disney Plus series starts shooting next year. There's yes. your update on Armor Wars because we were, we were talking about this. So yeah. There it is. <laughs> um, uh, there's sort of that. Loki season two debuts next season summer two. with. Yes. I feel like it's Huey. Uh, like probably. It's be, yeah, oh, it's okay. Ki, Ki Huey Kwan. That's mm -hmm. not, that seems vaguely correct, doesn't it? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. We're not good with names. So, I'm so bad with us. names. Um, I just feel worse when their names in a different language because obviously it's like such like an English of language. Um, uh you know, privilege thing that we're just sort of like, everybody just speaks English and it's like, at least I can do is figure out how to play it, say other people's names properly. Um, anyway, it doesn't matter. Short round uh, in blah, blah, blah. Joins the cast, exclusive trailer hinted at the show will visit a bunch of time periods in the wake of the season one finale. What a shocker, a show about time travel. It's going to visit a bunch of different time periods. I think uh, what was surprising, or not that surprising, is that Jonathan Majors was there as well. 
I think he, he joined, or, or did he join the Ant Man cast? I think it was for Ant Man. Yeah, it might have been. Because there was a whole thing about up here about um, yeah, 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 Ant Man. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, yeah, it might have been. Yeah, I don't Quantumania think kicks it. off season series, series five, phase five of the phase MCU five, yeah. in February next year. Look yes. at the movie, showed them uh, working with Hank and Janet along with Scott's daughter. Explore the quantum realm. We saw this saw the MCU big bad Kang holding Cassie hostage, what trying to force Scott to steal something for him. Also, Bill's Murray, Bill Murray's character appeared briefly. I didn't realize that Bill Murray really had it. Okay, <laughs> sure. Um, but, but, but Echo soon got an exclusive trailer full of striking Native American in, in, in imagery and features the return of Wilson Fisk, including looking awesome with an eye patch, apparently. Again, I haven't seen this either, so um, I don't think it's up on. on uh, I saw a picture. So, oh, okay. That. I didn't there was like there was like a picture that was kind of going around of her okay stream and stuff then excellent excellent i can't wait for that because you know the more uh, vincent donofrio and uh, uh charlie cox we get the better <laughs> speaking of dead of a born again is getting 18 episodes on disney plus 18. and it starts shooting next year yes. the longest series that they're going for and i'm not against it but i did also see an article it was like from a source i don't entirely trust and i haven't seen anything backing it up since saying that it was like going to be completely separate from everything that Netflix did and I was like please don't do that I really don't want you to do that <laughs> uh, I don't think that's true I don't think that's true either but like even seeing it just made me go I don't want you to do that that's a bad idea don't do that I mean it is titled Reborn Again it is quite titled Born Again but I still don't want them to forget about everything that happened beforehand because all oh, that was so major and it's but all we- on Disney Plus at this point so it's kind yeah. of like if you ignored all of it and just started again i would be i don't know just feels weird i don't like the concept of it i will i i will only listen to kevin feige <laughs> if he says it's a reboot then <laughs> it is but uh, i don't think it, it's yeah no i did again it's one of those things i you know i'm very specific about the sources i take things from there's been like and completely unprecedented pictures going around being like henry cavill cast an unknown role for in season two of loki mm. and i'm like not real it's not real <laughs> It's not real. Uh, not that can... I'd be against it if it did happen, but like it's not real. Uh, uh, um, what could be real is uh, the rumor that Elizabeth Olsen is going to be cast into House of the Dragon season two. Interesting. Which is that would be awesome because if uh, you guys didn't know, or if you didn't know, Katie, uh, she did audition for Game of Thrones, but she never got the role. She, I think, she was uh, auditioning for the Red Priest. Uh, maybe Daenerys. I was going to say she seems like she would fit for Daenerys. I think. Oh, I can't remember who she was auditioning for, but she never got the role, uh, and it was like a big bummer for her. Um, and now it looks like she might be coming into House of the Dragon. Okay. Which would be fantastic. Uh, but yeah, back to D23. I think that was all the big... That's kind of, that's literally everything. That's, that's okay. as far as I'm going, to be honest. That's um, fair. That's fair. So that's, there's all that sort of stuff. I have a feeling the next yes. time we talk... Yes. Tadum would have happened. The Netflix uh, fan uh, event very, with very, all of the stuff. Yeah. Because that's on the 24th. That... Just thinking about our scheduling. That's true. We're that's gonna... probably going to be our next episode. Well, very possible. Very possible. Unless we get an interview, because that's... Unless we get an interview, in which case, yes, yeah, so that is a priority. But yeah. like, I would like to talk about to do oh, definitely. when it happens. Because uh, as I tweeted today, um, I need to see Nikolai. <laughs> I want a trailer for Shadow and Bone. <laughs> I don't think we're going to get one. I don't want to upset you but i don't think we're gonna get a release date but like a small teaser Maybe it finished it, filming it several did finish months filming. ago at the yes. at this point yeah they have all of the, they have the material they do have the material i ah. just like even i get even pictures even like character pictures i would be fine with i just want to see i want to see nikolai and i want to see waylon and that's it <laughs> you're gonna find out very soon very soon. Just, Next week. Uh, and, and they they they've already said that Shadow and Bone is going to be at the event. So yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I don't see why we wouldn't get content. Exactly, exactly. Get to see it. I'm gonna see it. Mm. Fingers crossed. Uh, but yeah, this was us today. Uh, yes. With a very chaotic start. <laughs> because why not? Sometimes that oh. happens. Um, but um, 
yeah, we're going to be back in two weeks uh, talking about to do probably to-dum, probably in, in, in case in, unless unless anything else happens. But it's probably going to be to do. Let's yes. put it that way. When this episode premieres, I'm going to be at AGX. So, you know, Kate is going to post about everything and you can come <laughs> and find me in London. I'll certainly try. <laughs> Please, I won't be around to do it. You, you, you may have to just like poke me a couple of days before and like, I hello, figure. remember to. I figure, I figure, that's fine. Um, but yeah. Uh, this is what... going up next week, isn't it? Yes, it does, yes. Okay, that should be interesting. I do have a singing lesson at seven on Thursday. Oh God. It's fine. I can schedule a tweet. It's fine. <laughs> you, you can. That's a possibility. <laughs> uh, but anyway, guys, uh, as always, don't forget to subscribe. That's the camera. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, <laughs> like, uh, and leave a comment. <laughs> and uh, we love you all. Goodbye. 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 Goodbye.